Breaking news, SpaceX has successfully caught a super heavy rocket booster on return to Earth. Three, two, one. See how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand. Elon Musk is no stranger to ambitious goals, especially when it comes to revolutionizing space travel. But even for the brain behind SpaceX, pushing the boundaries of what's possible doesn't always go smoothly. Not too long ago, SpaceX conducted the fifth test flight of its massive Starship rocket, a mission that had everyone holding their breath. While the launch itself was a spectacle, things didn't go entirely as planned. Now Musk has finally broken his silence on what really happened that day. So what did he reveal? And what does it mean for the future of SpaceX's future plans? Let's find out. What really went wrong on SpaceX's fifth Starship flight? On October 13th this year, something that will go down in history happened in the space exploration industry. SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, executed the fifth launch of its massive Starship rocket, and it was nothing short of spectacular. This wasn't just any ordinary launch. It was a major step towards a future where rockets can be reused like airplanes, making space travel more affordable and efficient. But to fully appreciate the significance of this achievement, let's take a step back. During their fourth launch, SpaceX had already accomplished an impressive feat by safely landing the Starship on water. This breakthrough provided them with important data that paved the way for their next ambitious goal, which was to catch the massive rocket booster midair using a set of giant robotic arms. In preparation for this, SpaceX made significant upgrades to their hardware. The giant robotic arms, fondly known as chopsticks, were improved for better precision and strength. They also reinforced the launch platform, ensuring it could handle the serious forces during both liftoff and landing. SpaceX also conducted thorough environmental checks and secured a special permit from the FAA, clearing the path for a mission that aimed not only to launch a rocket, but also to catch it in one piece upon its return. Finally, the big day arrived. At precisely 7.25 a.m. Central Time, the Super Heavy Booster, designated Booster 12 or B-12, roared to life at SpaceX's Boca Chica launch site in Texas. All 33 of its powerful Raptor engines ignited flawlessly, propelling the rocket into the sky amidst cheers from the enthusiastic crowd gathered to witness history in the making. But the most exciting part of the mission was yet to come. After reaching space, the booster separated from the Starship and began its journey back to Earth. And in a tricky maneuver that stunned onlookers, the booster executed a boost back burn, flipping itself around to head back towards a launch site. As it descended, it began to slow down in preparation for the grand and highly anticipated mid-air catch. Then in a heart-stopping moment, exactly six minutes after liftoff at 7.31 a.m., the booster made its way back to the launch site and was caught mid-air by the giant robotic arms. For those watching, it was as if they had just witnessed a stunt from one of these sci-fi movies, as this was the first time a rocket this big had been caught in mid-air during its return. But right after the catch, this historic mission soon took an unexpected twist. During its descent, the Raptor engines fired intensely to control the speed, generating an immense amount of heat. These engines are incredibly powerful, and when they operate at full throttle, they produce temperatures hot enough to melt steel. On a normal day, this heat can be overlooked as it is part of the normal landing process. But the presence of the leftover methane presented a unique problem. For context, the Raptor engines use methane as their primary fuel source. And after the engine shut down, some residual methane can linger in the fuel lines and engine parts. Under normal circumstances, this leftover methane poses no risk. But when combined with the intense heat generated during landing, there's a chance it can ignite. As soon as the robotic arms caught the booster, nicknamed Mechazilla, the intense heat from the engines and the surrounding environment caused this residual methane to catch fire. Observers on the ground noticed flames and thick black smoke emanating from the base of the rocket, sparking concern that something might have gone wrong. For a brief moment, it seemed like the mission had failed like the previous ones. Thankfully, the fire lasted for a short time, as SpaceX's team quickly managed the situation. But as the flames subsided, people who were by this time wondering if that fire meant another failure of the spaceship launch pressed to know what caused the unexpected fire and if it could jeopardize future missions. In response to the public's concerns, 
Musk, alongside his SpaceX engineers, conducted a thorough inspection of the booster. Rather than being disappointed, Musk was surprisingly upbeat. In a post shared later that same day on X, he revealed that while the outer engine nozzles were slightly warped, this was not something to worry about as the problem, though unexpected, was relatively easy to fix thanks to the robust design of the Raptor 5 3 engines. You should know, though, that these Raptor 5 3 engines had recently undergone a lot of upgrades after the fourth Starship flight, but even with the improvements, some degree of warping was inevitable due to the extreme atmospheric conditions during re-entry. What happened was, during the landing phase of SpaceX's recent Starship test flight, the Raptor engines fired at full power. This intense activity generated extremely high temperatures, way more than what the engine nozzles could handle. According to the laws of physics, when metal is exposed to such extreme heat, it can expand, bend, or even warp. Although the nozzles are built to endure intense heat, even the strongest metals have their limits, and the temperatures during the test flight push those limits to the point where the metal components started to deform. But that's not all. SpaceX's plans for the anticipated sixth test flight. In just a few days, precisely on November 18th, SpaceX will embark on the sixth trial flight, where the most powerful rocket ever constructed will be launched. Scheduled to launch at 4 p.m. EST with a 30-minute window for any last-minute adjustments, the rocket will take off from SpaceX's Starbase site near Boca Chica Beach in South Texas. The focus of this sixth flight is to test cutting-edge technology and gather valuable data. One of the most ambitious goals is to attempt a groundbreaking recovery technique, catching the Super Heavy booster using giant metal chopsticks as it returns to Earth. If successful, this would allow SpaceX to reuse the booster, significantly reducing costs and advancing their goal of making space travel more sustainable. Meanwhile, the upper stage of the Starship is set to complete its mission before splashing down in the Indian Ocean. Learning from past experiences, SpaceX has made several key upgrades for this launch. The Super Heavy booster now features reinforced structures and backup systems to enhance its reliability. New heat protection materials have also been integrated, addressing the thermal challenges encountered in previous flights. These improvements are critical for future missions, especially those aiming to explore deeper into space. But preparation for this launch didn't happen overnight. SpaceX has been meticulously analyzing data and implementing adjustments since the fifth flight. In fact, the Federal Aviation Administration, simply called FAA, has already granted the necessary approval for this sixth test, a process that went much smoother this time around compared to the delays experienced before the fifth launch. The FAA has even agreed to some minor changes in the flight plan, noting that these adjustments do not do much in changing the mission's progress. The Super Heavy booster from the last flight was also refurbished. Unlike the extensive overhauls seen previously, this time SpaceX focused on fixing minor wear and tear, particularly on the bumper pads used during the booster's landing attempt. This careful attention to detail aims to improve the success rate of future landings. To ensure the readiness of the Super Heavy booster, SpaceX recently conducted a critical static fire test, where the booster's engines were ignited while it remained anchored on the ground. This test is crucial for verifying that everything is in top shape before the upcoming launch. At the same time, the Starship's upper stage was moved to a separate testing facility to undergo rigorous assessments, ensuring it can perform its role flawlessly, but they didn't stop there. SpaceX engineers identified a few issues with flight parameters that almost triggered an abort during landing. These are being addressed to enhance both safety and performance for the next mission. The company is working hard to maintain a rapid launch schedule while reducing risks, emphasizing thorough testing, and meticulous checks. Do you think SpaceX is truly ready for the sixth launch? Kindly let us know in the comments, and if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Also, click the next video on your screen to enjoy more exciting content.